and so I've decided on making a forge. I need to be able to cast 122 cubic inches in one shot, so that dictated my minimum size. I was going to get my fire brick where the coyote gets his, and I played around with the brick configuration a bit to get the lowest cost per cubic inch, and it turned out that bigger was better, and so I settled on large one. I ordered some coils from UXL on eBay, and I had to play with them a bit because they came with no information in English. Look at that, they actually gave me a little bit extra. We've got 28 and a quarter. Now, according to my design, I need 114 inches, which is good. I bought two of these. So 114 inches over two is 57. So here I go. Boy, this makes me a little bit nervous. I'm three inches short. Let's go again. I'm gonna measure the resistance of this to figure out exactly how I wanna power it. I don't want to overload the wire or the circuit breaker, and so I need to know what its resistance per inch is so that I can get the right temperature and stay within the current limits. 31.68 ohms, okay and I know that it's about 60 inches long and with an unstretched one it's about the same uh, so the coils aren't shorting out weird my coil is about a half an ohm per inch and the math just doesn't seem to agree with all the specs well I'm going to test it and just see what happens since heat only flows downhill I have to get my coil at the right color temperature if I ever expect it to melt stuff it's upside down but there's five amps now this coil was rated at 2,500 watts at 220 volts, which is 11.3, 11 11.3 to 11.4 amps. This thing was only pulling five amps. So if I want to basically double my current to get the full capacity of this wire, I need to cut my resistance in half. And the way to do that, of course, is to only use half the wire. And then what I'm gonna end up having to do is run several wires in parallel. Uh, probably linked by a steel bar and a bolt or something on each end. However, just to make sure I don't blow this thing up, I'm not going to move one wire in halfway. I'll do it at a third first just to be safe. And so now my coil is effectively 43 inches long. Now of course as the wire heats up, the resistance increases and so the current falls. Look at that color. That's more like what I want. That's getting there. Now I've got a cold spot here, of course, because that's touching, it's sagging and touching the concrete. I've got a cold spot, of course, on each bolt. But that's getting much, much better. And we settled down here, you can see, at 6.2 amps. Well, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say that this is the color that I'm looking for. Based on a color temperature chart, I'm in the 2000 degree range, give or take, which is what I need. Temperature only flows downhill, and the things I need to melt, I need to melt about 1800. So I think I'll be okay. I can always shorten my wire just a little bit if I need to get a little bit more heat out of it. I think it can take it based on the math. So it should be fine there. I'll use my second coil at the same length and I'll take these, cut them, um, fix them to a steel bar here that you'll see very shortly. But this is how I found how to use my coil. Uh, it was a little bit more difficult, but a lot more fun than I originally intended. So that's pretty much it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.